Hey guys, D-Man here, doing a different video for today, and today I'm going to discuss about the new cinematics Captain Marvel. What my hopes for her character is, what my thoughts and future predictions for her character is, and what my fears for her character is. Okay, so first off, let's get into my hopes for this character, this new character that they're introducing next year. So... My hopes for this character is that she's going to be a very good character and her movie is going to be very good. Um, Wonder Woman's movie was very lackluster to me and very middle of the road, just kind of like a mad movie. So I hope this movie can step it up and be an awesome movie. I hope it will have an awesome villain because Marvel seems to have problems with villains a lot, except for maybe Thanos. Thanos is probably a really good. Thanos is a really good villain. I shouldn't say probably, but Thanos is a really good villain for Marvel. Um, but Marvel seems to have a lot of trouble with villains in general. So I hope her villain is awesome, and I hope this movie is going to be awesome as well. Um, which brings me to her strength level. I hope she is appropriately strengthened. I don't know exactly how she's going to get her powers. A lot of people think that maybe it's going to be from the Kree because she does get her powers from the Kree in the comic books, but I don't know if that's going to happen in Marvel. Um, a lot of people said maybe it's going to be from the Infinity Stone, like one of the Infinity Stones gave her her powers because Marvel might not use the Kree to give her her powers. And I don't mind that, and I think like maybe she'll be born with it like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Or maybe it's going to be like Captain America, she tried a superhuman formula on herself. Or maybe like Bruce Banner, she got exposed to too much radiation from a certain source. Um, I don't know exactly how she's going to get her power, but as long as they do it in a good way, it will probably be pretty awesome. Um, if they do it in a horrible way, it will be like, jeez guys, come on. <laughs> um, but let's hope she gets her powers in a cool way. And her powers, um, to my knowledge, exist like... She has, like, energy blast. She can use energy. She's a heavy hitter, so she's, like, really strong. She has super strength. She can punch really hard. Um, and she can fly. She might be able to do a few more things, but those are the three main ones. She's really strong, fly, and also she has energy blast. <laughs> um, so I really hope they appropriately power her character. What do I mean by that? I mean... In the comic books, she is strong, and she is powerful, but she is not as strong as they're making her out to seem in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because I've heard a lot of rumors that she's going to be the strongest Avenger there is. Like, she's going to be the new strongest Avenger. She's the strongest one they ever created. Which is ridiculous to me, and stupid. Uh, because she's not as strong as Thor. She's not as strong as Hulk, and I don't, I don't even think she's as strong as Scarlet Witch, to be honest. Um, because Thor, in the comic books, I'm pretty sure he can defeat her and, like, full-on take her on and beat her. Maybe she could beat him in certain circumstances, but for the most part, he can defeat her. Because uh, he's like a god. Uh, he's done a lot of things. He's actually lifted up the World Serpent, I think, once. Uh, he lifts up, like, a part of the World Serpent, or, like, a part of something that was almost just, like, the size of a world, and it was really heavy. So he lifted that up once, uh, and it was super heavy. <laughs> um, and he's also done, like, incredible feats that she has not done. And he is super powerful in the Marvel Universe, but yet in this new universe, supposedly she's gonna be the strongest one, which is stupid. Excuse me. And then there's the Hulk, who is even more powerful than, than I would say than Thor is. Uh, the Hulk has done incredible feats as well. Uh, he's pulled tectonic plates together when a place was having an earthquake and the world was going to be destroyed, I think. So he pulled tectonic plates together and stopped it. That's incredibly hard to believe, but it happened. He's lifted a mountain to save everybody. Or was it an entire, I don't know if it was an entire mountain range or just a mountain, but it was like pretty much a mountain range that he lifted up to save everybody underneath him. Um, he has also almost destroyed the world. 
took on the world's greatest heroes, including the X-Men, the Avengers, the Fantastic Four. He took them all on, on in World War Hulk, and he defeated every single one of them, pretty much. And then at the end of that, he almost destroyed the world after fighting Sentry to a standstill. And Sentry is one of the most powerful characters in Marvel as well. He's super powerful. He has, like, the power of, like, a sun or something like that, I think. And Hulk fought him to a standstill. And then after that, Hulk got mad enough to almost destroy the planet. And then, in a separate comic, he did get mad enough to destroy a planet with one punch. Uh, so, yeah, the Hulk is incredibly crazy strong. He even destroyed a planet with one punch. So that's a little bit ridiculous. And then we move on to Scarlet Witch, why she's probably not as strong as Scarlet Witch. So Scarlet Witch in the comic books, um, she has like the power to manipulate reality to a certain extent. There was one time where she re manipulated reality to where the where like mutants were on top and humans were underneath them. And then after that, she acts she actually like erased the mutant gene almost and made a lot of people depower and also made it so mutants almost died like almost died out as a species um it was for a stupid reason but it was pretty cool uh the stupid reason it was for a stupid reason though <laughs> but it, that's not a hero there <laughs> but anyways she did all that with her powers she literally manipulated um reality with her powers and I have never seen Captain Marvel do any of that. <laughs> um, although she is a strong character, don't get me wrong, I do think she is a strong character. I just don't think she is that powerful. And to make her that powerful in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it will be disappointing if she's that powerful in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So my hopes are she isn't going to be that powerful, and she actually is going to be appropriately powered appropriately powered <laughs> um but here comes my fears for her um i think that they might overpower her for stupid reasons maybe it's because she's a girl or something like that even though scarlet witch they had a perfect opportunity to make her super powerful because she is super powerful but they didn't <laughs> don't know why but whatever um so they might overpower her like crazy and that will suck i kind of have a like a thought like maybe it's gonna be superman out of the dc universe of uh, the dc cinematic universe because without superman that whole team sucks he can do anything and everything pretty much and he just does it with like a snap of his fingers he doesn't even need the team to save the world it's kind of stupid how pow how overpowered he is in that universe um, so I kind of figure, like, is that, is that what's going to happen? <laughs> like, are all the Avengers going to be fighting and Captain Marvel gets there, she takes care of everything with, like, a snap of her fingers? And she's just like, yeah, I took care of everything. I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I will be so goddamn disappointed if that actually happens. I'd be like, what the fuck, Marvel? That is stupid as shit. Like, if she could take down Thanos with just a couple punches or something like that, I'd be like, Jesus fucking Christ. Because Thanos is definitely stronger than Captain Marvel. Um, but I don't know, man. <laughs> or he, I don't know how strong she can get, but he is definitely, like, on her power level. Um, but it's ridiculous to think that she's going to be super overpowered because they said she's going to be like the most strongest Avenger they ever introduced, which is ridiculous and stupid to me because she isn't in the comic books. If they do it in a good way, I'll be like, okay, I guess I can let that slide. But if they do it in a bad way, I'll be like, Jesus Christ, I'm super disappointed. Not disappointed enough to stop watching the movies, but disappointed enough to be like, bad review because that's, that sucks. That would suck if they did that. I don't want to see another Superman. I'm just saying. I don't want to see another Superman where he just comes in and it's just like, yeah, I'll save the day. I didn't really need you guys' help. <laughs> uh, that would suck. Um, but that's kind of what I think is going to happen. Uh, which leads me into my predictions what's going to happen. 
So in this future movie, I think we're going to be introduced to her. Uh, she is an alcoholic in the comic books, so maybe she'll be an alcoholic. I don't know. But I think we're going to be introduced to her. Uh, she's going to beat the bad guy, obviously, like all Marvel, all Marvel villains do. She's going to almost lose, or maybe she's going to win, and then she's going to defeat the bad guy eventually, obviously. I think that maybe she's going to get used to her new powers, maybe destroy a couple things because it's going to be accidental and comedy, you know. She's going to be like, oops, I didn't know I could do that sort of thing. <laughs> and then at the end, I think she's going to get a full grasp of her powers, defeat the bad guy, and I don't know where she goes because she disappears and she's not in Avengers, which is kind of something <laughs> that take me like that disannoyed me. About this, it's just like, oh, she was back in the past, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, when you were assembling the, the Avengers, like, when Nick Fury was assembling the Avengers, he knew about Captain Marvel, yet he didn't even ask her. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm just saying, Earth's greatest heroes missing the strongest Avenger, supposedly, to this date, at least according to a few people. Um, kind of ridiculous. Just saying. <laughs> but whatever, we'll, we'll look past that glaring flaw in the logic. Um, but I do think he's he he contacted her. She's gonna come in like Avengers four. But in her own movie I do think she's gonna be super powerful. I think she's gonna be borderline overpowered. I hope she's not, but I think she is. I think she's gonna be borderline overpowered in her own movie. And it's gonna be kinda of ridiculous. And maybe to protect people she'll leave the planet. Or maybe she'll just go into hiding and try to be a normal person. I'm not sure what's going to happen. A lot of people, like, I've heard some people say, like, Oh, Nick Fury put that text to the past. That's how she's going to come to the future with her powers, even though she doesn't have time travel powers, I don't think. But whatever, I guess. Maybe they have a time travel machine. But I don't think that's the case. I think she just left Earth or did something like that to protect people. Um... So, I think her movie is probably going to be good, although I, I, I think that they're going to severely overpower her and it's going to be super ridiculous. Um, and then in the next movie, Avengers 4, I think that she's going to be basically the savior and it's going to be super goddamn ridiculous. Uh, what do you call those characters? A Mary Sue, I think you call them? <laughs> Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't really like using Mary Sue that often, uh, because a lot of characters people call Mary Sue's, I don't believe are Mary Sue's. Um, like Rey off of Star Wars, I don't believe she's a Mary Sue, and Wonder Woman, definitely not a Mary Sue. Um, there's a couple others that aren't, but there are some that are Mary Sue's that just can't do anything wrong, they're just super powerful, and it's like, yeah, I'm super powerful and badass, I, I can win anything. I hope she's not like that. <clears throat> As I already said, Superman was pretty much a Mary Sue, but for a guy, I guess. Um, so I hope she's not like that, but I have a feeling that she might be like that. And she might be the one that fights Thanos and wins, which is going to be ridiculous because Thanos is super powerful. And plus he has the Infinity Gauntlet, even though he has destroyed half of the population, the Infinity Gauntlet still should have power with it. Um, what I actually hope is going to happen <clears throat> is there going to be a fight between the Avengers. Uh, the Hulk gets redeemed because these movies have shown Hulk in a bad light, in my opinion. There's been a couple good scenes where he punched the flying whale thing. Uh, in the first Avengers, he punched it and it flipped over. Uh, he's beaten a lot of things. He's had really awesome moments and stuff like that. But he hasn't had the awesome moments like he has in the comic books. Like, there was one time he ripped Wolverine in half. I would have loved to see that with Ultron. Like, Ultron put his body in, like, the toughest metal. I think it was, a. Uh, uh, it's not adamantium. In the comics, it's adamantium. But in the actual movie, I think it was, uh, what's it called again? Black Panther uses it. <laughs> God damn it. What, what's that metal called again? It's, um... What is it called? <laughs> Vibranium, sorry, Vibranium. Uh, I wish we would have seen Hulk get pissed off enough to rip Ultron in half. 
because he has done that before um, in a cartoon, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's done that before in a, in a comic book, too, but I don't know. But he has done that in a cartoon where he was made out of adamantium, and he has ripped Wolverine in half when Wolverine was made out of adamantium in a comic book, although I think that was a different universe, but whatever. He has done that. <clears throat> um, so, he's done, like, all these cool things, but they only show him doing, like, these lackluster things. Uh, and on, like, Ragnarok, they show Thor and him fighting, but they never showed the full extent of their fight. I really wanted to see the full extent of their fight, because in, like, the comic books, uh, he was fighting against Silver Surfer in that. And in the cartoon, there was a cartoon of, of Planet Hulk. He was fighting against, um, what's his name? Uh, Bullet Bill, I think his name is. And that's basically like a, a brother of Thor that has like the same powers as Thor. Because he has a different M Mjolnir. Or he has a different hammer, I forgot what his name is. But basically, he was fighting against Bullet Bill. And he beat the shit out of Bullet Bill. And he also beat the shit out of Silver Surfer. And I really wanted to see that. I really wanted to see Thor go full power. But at the end, I wanted to see Hulk's anger get so overwhelming that he just jumps on top of Thor and just starts going, bah, 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 just starts punching his face into the ground until he's all bloody, until the people have to stop him from doing that because he's freaking going nuts. Um, but we didn't get to see that in any of the movies. We only got to see Hulk have... Uh, small, minor roles in these movies, and they're, they're always just like, oh, he's strong, but, you know, we got other people to deal with. <laughs> Even though the case is that he's super goddamn strong, and I would love to see him freak out the way he does in some of these comic books, but he never does. And it's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's not upsetting. I guess it's disappointing. And that's what I want to see in, fan, in, um, in, <laughs> sorry. That's what I want to see. In Avengers 4. I want to see the whole team fight Thanos. And still lose. And then I want to see the Hulk get redeemed. Because he gets so pissed off. That he starts fighting Thanos. And his anger gets the best of him. And he just starts going savage Hulk on him. Just ba ba ba. Maybe even borderline world breaker Hulk. That would be freaking amazing. But what I actually think is going to happen is that he's going to have a slight redeeming moment where maybe he hits Thanos somewhere or something like that. And then Captain Marvel, because she's the strongest one now, defeats him permanently. And then they either all use the Infinity Gauntlet to bring everybody back to life or maybe just Iron Man or something like that. But somebody uses it uh, to bring everybody back to life. Um... That's what I think is going to happen. And I think that's going to be super disappointing. It's just like, oh, great. Now she took down Thanos. Even though she technically isn't the strongest Avenger. But in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she somehow is. <laughs> um, it will be very, very um, disappointing. I feel like these upcoming movies are going to be very disappointing. In more than one way. I hope they're not. I hope Hulk finally gets his chance. I hope Captain Marvel is appropriately powered. And has a really good movie. But I kind of think. She's going to be super overpowered. It's going to be another Superman situation. Where she doesn't even need their help to win. Um, and I think Hulk's going to get a redemption. But only to a certain extent. And it's going to be super lame. It's going to be just like. Oh wow, that's that's awesome. Hulk defeats Thanos, and then she takes care of the rest. Or maybe Hulk punches Thanos, and that's all. Woo! I feel like I'm gonna be very disappointed with these upcoming movies. I hope I'm not, but I feel like I am gonna be. Uh, those are just my personal opinions. If you have any other personal opinions, I put them in the comments, obviously. But I really hope they make her character really well and not make her overpowered i do not want to see another superman situation because she's got to be a good character man she's got to be and if she's not it's gonna be very disappointing very disappointing
<sighs> but anyways, that's this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, my friends, stay As sane. Just telling you, Peace. if you click one of these boxes, you will either go to my most recent video or a video that YouTube thinks you will like. And if you click on my face right here, you will go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I guess you won't go anywhere. You'll subscribe. Anyways, that's enough, guys. Peace.